Okay, welcome everybody. This is a slideshow about online pedagogy and online discussions. Uh, pedagogy refers to education. So what we're talking about, or what I want to talk about, is the theory, the educational theory behind what we're doing and why discussion is so important. So let's begin by just talking about basically what college should do to you. Going to college should, should cause some significant changes in the way you think about everything, not just in the way you act in class, but the way you think in general. Uh, so what type of changes? Cognition. First off, you should begin to recognize that there are unconscious and conscious cognitive processes and that most of the time people are thinking unconsciously. They're just responding to things. And oftentimes what we have to do is assert some effort to actually start to think about things consciously and systematically. Uh, you should recognize that learning facts is not enough. Uh, facts change. The facts that I learned in college are really uh, you know, outdated by now. So you could say my whole college career was a waste because what I learned, the facts that I learned, are no longer relevant. But that's not true because I learned not just to memorize facts and regurgitate them, but I learned some things about facts. I learned about how facts are developed, how they're analyzed, uh, how they're challenged. Those are the important things you learn in college. So what that means is, uh, we're going to look at the development of your cognitive processes in college. We're going to want you to articulate your thinking. Articulate means to expand out. So when I say, or when any professor says, what do you think is going to happen, we always want you to articulate your response. Not just, well, yes, no, or I think this will happen. Why? Talk about your thought process. Catalog or timeline your thought process and tell it to us. Uh, we want you to explore cognitive conflicts. Some things conflict with each other. One of the more difficult classes in psychology is personality theory, and that's because that class, every week you do a different uh, theory of personality, and they often conflict with each other. And some students, oh, you know, like, why, why are you telling me this week that, that I should not worry about dreams because last week you told me that dreams were important? And the answer is, well, today we're studying Skinner, and Skinner feels that dreams aren't important. Last week we were studying Freud, and Freud said dreams are important. Well, which is right? You know, and students really don't understand that part of the college experience is understanding that these conflicts exist. And then what you need to do is you need to understand how you create new knowledge and the construction of new knowledge. And usually that occurs as a co-construction where people are working together to develop new knowledge, that is, new facts. All this can be uh, met by what we call metacognitive thinking. Meta means after, so metacognitive means a higher order of cognitive thinking, where we're thinking about thinking. So metacognitive means thinking about thinking. So you should always be asking yourself questions. What do these facts mean? What can I do with these facts? How were they created? How do we know we're accurate? Could they change? Those are really the important metacognitive questions. So we want to have online activities that encourage this metacognitive thinking. So what are those activities? It's interactions. Just taking a quiz or doing an assignment by yourself online is not going to do it. Interacting with other students uh, in discussion. Interacting with students in collaborative process, uh, projects. Interacting with your professor online. These are the things that are going to encourage metacognitive thinking. And so therefore, an online course is going to focus on these activities to a, a very large extent. It'll probably drive you crazy. <laughs> 